Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, Mikkel is 10 and 4 in games, 5 and 1 in sets, which honestly, until <laughs> looking at this player card again, I'd forgotten that Mikkel was so dominant in this 2v2 set, but it's really about Faye. He's kind of the captain of 2v2. You know, I'm sure it's a lot of communication going back and forth, but as you said, he's got the best 2v2 record in the entire league. Yeah, and Faye's kind of been overshadowed a bit in conversations whether it's because he's had multiple different 2v2 partners or the the head-to-head -head play by his teammates, especially Javi, but he has been a massive part of Fnatic's success this season. Yeah, you know, you've got to you get that cushion to go into the 1v1 set and bring out Javi Catorce where he's most comfortable. If you go to the 1v1, that means you fell in a set somewhere throughout the game and it most likely the, the, the king of the hill. Complexity going back to the Royal Giant well. It worked fantastically for them in their opening match today. So we'll see yeah. if they can do it one more time. And two shots in there from the Royal Giant. That last one just squeaked by. So first minute away, and right now complexity again out to an early lead, although taking a couple big shots on both sides. The Ice Wiz doing more damage than you might expect with all those bolts. Yeah, and you can see complexity there looking to conserve some Elixir in turn to create another offensive push here. Had they defend, ooh, and that is a miss and a half. Not only do they miss the Ice Wizard, they miss the Princess Tower as well. And that is one of those mistakes, those mental mistakes that Complexity has been having lately. Royal Giant opposite direction. Lumberjack gets on tower for a half second, pulled by the guards. And now Raged Up Royal Giant trying to get past this Inferno Tower, cannot do it. So despite the stumbles on the opposite end, Complexity yeah. still staying ahead, although slightly behind on Elixir as we enter into double Elixir time. Yeah, you saw there the Complexity, they, they recognized the misplayed poison and kind of just pumped the brakes, looked to conserve Elixir for defense because they figured that Fnatic would turn up the heat. And they kind of did, but they weren't really able to break through that well. Royal Giant Lumberjack coming down. Tornado Ice Wiz, very well-timed yeah. lightning. That's a raged up Royal Giant. Does not get a shot courtesy of that Mega Minion. I mean, even with the lightning coming in, look at all the answers they have. They have the Ice Spirit, they've got the Inferno Tower, the Snowball, the Log, all of these things coupled with the NATO or used in conjunction with the NATO is a really rough route for that Royal Giant to get to tower. Ice Spirit, Snowball, trying to stop, does not. Royal Giant gets a shot, and suddenly Fnatic has the lead as we move into Sudden Death. And you can recognize there that Faye has as much Elixir as both the Complexity rep representatives, so maybe that poison is now starting to add up. Inferno Tower, deep, deep into the center, picks up the Lumberjack. Royal Giant will get raged. Is Lightning in the hand yes, of Fnatic? Yes, it is. That, that is, is a, a big huge shot. Lightning. And the Lumberjack speaking by, as you said, was the big changer right there, being able to rage up the RG and preserve its health just a little bit. And this Royal Giant should be enough. Gets yeah. on tower, one shot, that second shot down. Is it. So now Fnatic, Faye and Mikkel, three games in a row over Colton and Razor. It appears that they have their kryptonite locked away. They are playing so well together. Our uh, uh, Mikkel and Faye, and that's been the story for Faye all season this year. Colton and Razor need to find some way to get back in this. You know, Rich, we've talked about how mistakes lead to more mistakes, and Fnatic was able to kind of create a slow burn that turned into a brush fire, and Razor and Colton could just not keep up with it. Really turned the tables there, so gotta wonder if Colton and Razor are dialed back in. And it's not just mistakes, but get mistakes, Andrew. It's that over the last couple of match days, this has plagued the duo. Yeah. So you got to wonder if it does change their their mindset at all. Yeah, it's one of those things that you're kind of shocked to see. They've been playing together for so long and playing together flawlessly for so long, all of a sudden having a rough last stretch. So now trying to bounce back. And Fnatic here going with maybe a Lava a Miner. Complexity, a lot of Princes yeah. in the mix. Don't see a ton of classic Prince in 2v2. We have seen the double giant, double Prince, I think maybe once in 2v2, and I don't believe it fared very well. So more Princes wow. come out. Lightning behind the Goblin Giant. That Lightning not getting a ton done for Fnatic, but they should be all right. So it's Goblin Giant. Quadruple Prince, double, jo wow. double Goblin Giant, Quadruple Prince here. Now, this is a deck that seemed to, in the 1v1, pop up part right through the season, has been very, very successful. Colton and Raz are bringing it to 2v2 for the first time. Yeah, really curious. I mean, I do love the Dark Prince in 2v2. I think that that shield for big spells has proved to be very, 
very effective time and time again. And wow, that Mega Knight just vanished from the map. Connection on the tower with the Goblin Giant. We are heading into double elixir time. Colton and Raz are slightly behind Faye and Mikkel. Nice stun there from the E-Wiz, few hits in. Perfectly healthy Dark Prince going opposite direction. E-Wiz comes down in response. Lumberjack tanking for the E-Wiz and now another Ram Rider in front. And that lightning did a ton. Ram Rider just barely does not escape. Oh, and a very nice Mega Minion played up high to catch that E-Wiz at the last possible second. So Ram Rider Mega Knight Miner for Fnatic up against the double Goblin Giant Quadruple Prince of Complexity. So decks that we've kind of seen more popular in 1v1, now they're 2v2 versions popping out. Everyone's pulling out the stops here. In our playoffs, final 25 seconds of regulation. So that Mega Knight Splash is doing great work against both of those Prince's. As soon as that Dark Prince Shield came down with that poison, a really, really nice use of the Mega Knight there. Goblin Giant in the front. Pekka comes down. Lightning does not go to the E-Wiz, goes to the Pekka and Baby Dragon instead. One shot on the tower. Ram Rider in for Fnatic. Dark Prince trying to stop. Log comes in to push things back. Miner to the back of the tower. Miner on the back. Pekka does go down with that, but the E-Wiz is now reset onto the Miner. This is a huge moment for Fnatic. Bringing that down below. This is going to be oh. it. There is no way for Complexity to come back. My.